Hello everyone and welcome to this 12th MOOC of Refining is Exciting dedicated to the production of sustainable biofuels, namely biodiesel and biojet. These biofuels are produced from biomass. Before starting this new MOOC, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not hesitate to put a thumbs up to encourage me to continue producing content. Yes, I also can talk like a YouTuber. I also inform you that you have a quiz at the end of each video. The link is available in the description of the video. But let's go back to the world of energy. This new MOOC follows the MOOC that some of you may have already seen. It is available on my YouTube channel since 2015. Seven years time goes by so quickly. As an introduction, we can say that the current CO2 emissions related to energy in 2021 are about 30 billion tons per year. We know that we must reduce these emissions for the reasons that everyone already knows. And at the same time, we will continue to travel by plane or by car. But then, how to do it? One way to reduce our emissions is to drive or fly using liquid fuels produced from waste and residues, namely biojets and biodiesels. As we saw in the MOOC dedicated to biofuels in 2015, these fuels reduce emissions by about 50% compared to fossil fuels that everyone knows and that are produced from oil. In this new MOOC, we'll start by talking about the different feedstocks available. Then we'll talk very briefly about the first pathway that already exists today and which is already very mature, namely transesterification. Then we'll talk about the technology called HVO, or sometimes EFA, to produce biofuels from biomass, and this will be the heart of this new MOOC. We will end up with a conclusion to detail the carbon footprint, or carbon intensity, of this process. I hope that at the end of this MOOC, you will have a clearer idea of how we produce these fuels and how they impact our CO2 emissions. Are you ready? So, let's go! First of all, let's talk about the feedstocks available. In this new MOOC, we will focus on the production of biodiesel and biojet. So, we are interested in fatty chains molecules. Indeed, the sugar sector and its fermentation is dedicated to the gasoline sector via the ethanol pathway. The fatty chains available in nature are first of all obviously the so-called classic vegetable oils, namely palm oil, sunflower, rapeseed, etc. These oils, and especially the palm oil, are more and more banned since they are in direct competition with human and animal nutrition. We will therefore give priority to what is called wastes and residues. These wastes and residues are mainly the used cooking oil, UCO, and the animal fats, AF. But by the way, these fatty chains, what are their chemical formulas? In fact, these fatty chains are mostly made up of triglycerides. A triglyceride is a set of three fatty acids linked together by a propane molecule. Note that these molecules may also have carbon-carbon double bonds. Some chains do not have, such as palmitic acid, C16, or stearic acid, C18. These are called saturated fats. But some chains can contain up to two or three carbon-carbon double bonds as you can see here, with oleic acid or linoleic acid. In fact, each feedstock is characterized by the chain length of its triglycerides, as well as by the number of double bonds in these same chains. So, what is the difference between all these feedstocks? See you in the second part of this MOOC. See you soon, and in the meantime, do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and answer the quiz. The link is available in the description of the video. See you very soon. Bye-bye.